I think it's pretty safe to say that one of the major characters that a lot of people are really interested in and curious about seeing in this movie by JJ is the character of Luke Skywalker being portrayed by Mark Hamill once more. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, we do know that there will be a lot of revelations being made in this movie that will change how we look at both the prequels, the originals, and even the sequels such as The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. Now, with, with each day that passes by, we're getting closer to the very end of filming of this movie, so this whole entire film really is starting to take shape and come together as we go through each and every day. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. One of which has all to do with the major hint and or indicator of Luke Skywalker coming back to life in a very unique way by JJ in this movie. Specifically, a description of Luke Skywalker standing in front of both Kylo Ren and Rey in the middle of a lightsaber duel. Luke here has no beard, short hair, and appears far younger than ever before. It's described that Luke has no blue hue and no transparency. The sequence is described that Kylo and Rey see him as flesh and blood. The next goes over Luke now standing in front of Kylo, showing him Han Solo's dice as Kylo takes it from Luke's hands. It's also said that J.J. Abrams has a revelation for Luke Skywalker at the end of the film that will change certain rules of the Force. The last goes over Luke's blue hue and transparency, returning slowly, where he eventually appears like a normal Force ghost. So I really want to go over a couple of parts about this that are really piquing my interest when it comes to what J.J. Abrams is going to be doing with the character of Luke and the whole entire aspect and the idea of the Force and the Netherworld in Episode 9. So with that being said, we do know that J.J. wants to do incredible things for the character of Luke in Episode 9. He wants to do some, well, quite surprising things in this movie that are really going to catch us off guard and come out of left field. So, with that being said, the first thing that I do want to go over is how the actual description of Luke Skywalker standing in front of both Kylo Ren and Rey in the middle of their lightsaber duel, basically intervening between the two. Now, Luke has no beard, he's got short hair and appears far younger than ever before, and he has no blue hue and no transparency, and both characters, Kylo and Rey, view him as flesh and blood. Now, this takes us all the way back to the original script of Return of the Jedi, in which Obi-Wan Kenobi came back to life, or at least temporarily, in through the eyes of Luke Skywalker during the Endor celebration, where he appeared as flesh and blood. Now, what really intrigues me is where we actually do learn that J.J. Abrams is planning a big revelation for the character of Luke that will change the rules of the Force in Episode 9. So what does this necessarily mean? where he's changing the rules of the Force for the character of Luke Skywalker, and Luke Skywalker is going to be seen as flesh and blood, with no transparency and no blue hue at all. However, what really does pique my interest is the last piece, where it goes over Luke's blue hue and transparency, returning slowly, where he eventually appears like a normal Force ghost. So why would he appear alive, and then slowly return to what he would look like as a Force ghost? Now, I don't know about you guys, but this to me sounds absolutely like Luke Skywalker is going to be coming back to life in this movie, either temporarily or in a very unique way, where he's able to come back to life for a cause, a certain cause in this movie. And I think that the Wills have something to do with this. We do know that the Wills have great power and they can do almost anything. So when we look at episode 9, I think what J.J. Abrams is really trying to do is he's trying to do incredible things with this movie. We also know that he's going to be doing these sequences that take us within the netherworld of the Force as well. So, the fact that many different rules of the Force will be changed through one of the revelations of the character of Luke Skywalker and how he appears as flesh and blood in between both Kylo and Rey in between their lightsaber duel, is this most certainly taps into Legends material, I believe it was in one of the books or the novels, where Luke Skywalker was able to actually return from the netherworld, at least temporarily, or maybe even permanently, I can't quite remember. But, it was definitely in Legends material, where he was able to pull off such a power. 
So, it could very well be that J.J. is trying to tap into that, and after all, this movie is said to have a lot of Legends material coming into play here for Episode 9. There's even a lot of word out there that there's going to be one of the planets from Knights of the Old Republic appearing in Episode 9. So, moving on forward from all of this, alright, I know that Luke Skywalker is a very important character in the Skywalker saga, and they are trying to do whatever they can possible in order to really please the fans in a realistic way. Of course, they're not going to bring him back to life permanently, or, you know, back to life as if he was alive and well in The Force Awakens and in The Last Jedi. But in this scenario, alright, this is without a doubt him coming back to life temporarily through the use of the Force, appearing as if he is flesh and blood, changing the rules of the Force by J.J. Abrams, and of course how the transparency and blue hue returns slowly where he eventually appears like a normal Force ghost. So, the fact that it slowly returns tell us that he has reached a different level of pretty much interacting with the mortal world. And I think that's very impressive. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah.